Hey everyone, thanks for joining and welcome to this week's episode. So for this week of Tapestry of Cultures, I'm going to interview Ploy. Ploy is a very interesting and aspiring entrepreneur that's based in Qashqai in western part of Portugal. She is uh, formerly from Thailand and she is uh, simply a very good Thai cook herself. So how I met Ploy was I went to Qashqai one day to meet up with a friend for lunch and we ordered food from her and when the food arrived and what I saw first was the fish cakes and the curries and I was just blown away because I knew that was authentic Thai and I told myself I had to meet and also one of the things I found out is that she's never had masaman curry before so this is interesting to me because I thought all Thais were eaten masaman curry at some point in their lives so I decided to try out masaman curry and be the first one to serve ploy my version of masaman curry so I'm pretty excited to see what she thinks about it with this interview um, I discussed with ploy about her hopes and dreams and about her, a bit about her background where she came from and what she was used to and exposed to and how she moved to Florida to in order to uh, train herself uh, before she opens up a Thai restaurant here in Portugal so without further ado I'm pretty excited to share with you guys this episode so let's get started Hi Ploy, Samita. <laughs> nice to see you over here yeah. and thanks for joining for today's lunch. I hope that I do some justice especially to the masamam curry. Um, well I've got some uh, masamam curry for today's lunch yeah. and so I've got some stir fry snake beans with a salted egg yeah. and some Thai mountain sauce with it. Yeah. So I hope that will bring you some kind of memory um, to Thailand. <laughs> yeah, it all looks so good. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so please dig in first and then we'll, we'll talk as we go along. Okay. okay. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Yeah. My first time. Yeah, as you guys will know, uh, Plo hasn't had masaman curry before. And uh, I was really excited about this because I thought I want to share my masaman curry recipe, which is actually from the 1890 cookbook, Thai cookbook. And um, I want to see what she thinks about it. I'm super excited. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I'm a little bit have like the chicken skin. Chicken skin. Because oh. somehow when I was like excited, like to eat something, oh, this yeah, is the like boost, always come the up. Like, yeah. <laughs> yes. mm, this is different from what I was thinking. Oh, okay. Because, mm, I thought it was like more like Indian. Mm. You know. But this is not. This is really good. Okay, so I passed. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So ploy. Um, maybe let's start off with, with something uh, with a question first. Obvious, uh, an obvious question, because um, many of the viewers might not know who you are. So maybe you can share a little introduction of, of yourself and what you do over yeah, here in, sure. in Portugal. Uh, I'm living in Cascais. Yes. Yeah, uh, I'm just 30 years old this year. Oh, just, okay. uh, Have last you just month? passed? Oh, last month! Yeah, oh. last month. So. Oh, happy belated birthday. <laughs> Thank you. So, I'm living here with my boyfriend. Okay. Yeah. You, you are originally from Bangkok? Yeah, I was okay. born in, in Bangkok mm -hmm. uh, and living there for like 25 years. Yeah, yes. I'm living 25 years in Bangkok and I'm traveling a lot to Japan, to uh, around Asia and I'm starting to come to Europe. I, I knew it that how I really like my my food, I would say my food, like Thai food. Yeah. Because when I am travel, when I start traveling, uh, I had to bring my uh, my chili paste. Oh, you have to bring Everywhere. your chili paste and we go. <laughs> in the world, even in Japan, which is have a lot of, of amazing food, whatever. Yeah. But I'm still really miss my flavor. <laughs> you know, uh, I always look for the hotel where I can have like um, uh, this small kitchen. Yes. Sometimes I'm cook like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, well you can take the Thai girl out of Thailand but not yeah. the Thai out of her. <laughs> yeah, no way. Oh no god, that's way. interesting. You know, like I don't mind at all to 
to even I'm like super tired or something, I don't mind how to, to, to go have oh, okay. to go home and cook and eat my food and I'm happy. So this is interesting. So it's cooking has always been part of your life, like since yes, you're young. Oh, yes. Okay. And the food is is I don't know if this is like So you're a real foodie then? Yeah, <laughs> like the food is the most important in my life. Oh, I could okay. not live in somewhere that have no Thai food yeah, yeah. or the ingredient. Never, never. Wow, so so where do you uh, learn cooking from? Like what you know, what inspired you? Was it something in your childhood, or do you went to cooking school? Uh, I would say when I was uh, a child, mm -hmm. uh, I living with my family, yeah. and we never buy the the food. Oh, we okay. have a lot of street food. We have a lot of uh, restaurant in Bangkok, mm -hmm. but uh, our family always cook. We never buy food, so I start cooking since I was seven, which is how helping my grandmother every day to cook. Oh. You know, like I making the uh, the shrimp paste. Mm. You know, the shrimp paste, yeah. It's very good, and we have the the very good place to buy that, mm -hmm. and it smell very good. And yeah. this is uh, the shrimp paste is the the thing that we always have on the table. Every day oh, wow. on the table. My mother, she come from Ubalashatani, which is like really close to to Laos. Oh, okay, so really up north, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and my uh, my father, mm -hmm. uh, my grandparents, they come from uh, Meklong, you know. Oh, Meklong, okay. Meklong, some of some crab, where the train train market. Oh yes, yes. Over there, smooth some cram. The McClung market is have a lot of uh, really good uh, yeah, ingredients. ingredients. It's always come yeah, from fresh there. ingredients and yeah, high quality yeah. produce. Yeah. So you were really surrounded. You were born and surrounded with food. Yeah, all your fresh yeah, ingredients and all yeah. food. Yeah. Wow. And this is good. This is really good. <laughs> you know, like uh, the taste, like really into the the ingredient. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Masma now, and this is from the the cookbook for yes. long, long time ago. Yes, this is super different. Ah, okay. Because yeah, I know, I know we can get like. I got the chicken skin again. Because <laughs> oh I know we can get like um, we we can get like you know ready made paste like layer curry, the red curry, yeah. panang, and and green curry. Personally, I always find that it's it makes a difference when you you can make your own spice taste. Yeah. The taste is different. It's not the standard or industrialized kind of version imagine yeah. like the, the red curry mm -hmm. uh gangdam i would say if you if you are in in bangkok or in somewhere like at the north or mm -hmm. to compare to the south they mm -hmm. make the same the same things but it's different different way yeah they use a uh, different ingredient you know different preparation yeah. and everything yeah so when was the first time you came over to Portugal? Mm, December 2018. Oh, December 2018. And what were your impressions of yeah. Portugal? We came to Lisbon? Or? I, I went to Lisbon. Okay. Yeah. This is funny again, like, because uh, I went to Asian supermarket here. I don't know any Thai people here before and I don't see like, uh, they don't have uh, the ingredient as much as another country have mm. because this is like I would say like it's not so so far away but it's the stuff is not need to drop in some country first and before I come to Portugal so they don't bring everything mm. and I don't I come like uh, the short vacation so mm. I don't have Thai friend but uh, after I meet someone and I see the small Thai community here yeah. and I can connect to other people and see where do they get the ingredient, where do they depend it or they order from somewhere else. Yeah. What how do they do to, to be so well? Because because I I believe that Thai people the food is is the super important thing. Yes. So when I had the connection to buy things and I was like, okay, I can see myself now to live here. <laughs> but again, I met uh, my uh, friend of my boyfriend yeah. and I cook for them mm -hmm. like super lovely. Wanted to cook to to so a you, friend. So you were enthusiastic to show your culture. Yeah. <laughs> But I was like so spicy, my green curry like super super spicy. I remember that uh, his friend 
eating the bean curry and put the rice with the another hand, put the rice, fill the rice, fill the rice, fill the rice, fill the rice <laughs> all the time. It <laughs> doesn't mean like that this is good, but just like too spicy, they cannot eat. Yeah, this is interesting because before I moved over to Portugal, I also what I did was I went around Asian supermarkets to find every Asian supermarkets around here. And I, what I wanted to, I wanted to make sure that, okay, I know that the ingredients are limited, the products are limited, and there are, there are many products I cannot find in Portugal, but I can want to see how far can I go. Yeah, yeah, and and yeah. that's, the, that's the, the challenge for me, and then actually I'm surprised that despite the, the limitations, I can actually find, uh, I can find enough ingredients yeah. to make as authentic nice. as I can. Nice. Yeah. So like, but it takes a bit of effort. We have to go to one supermarket for certain things, another exactly. supermarket, and I go to another yeah. fresh market. Exactly. And yeah, you mentioned um, when we first met up. You mentioned that you lived in, in the US in Florida. Yes. How long were you there for? Uh, I went to Florida for like seven months, seven mm -hmm. between seven and eight months. I went to work in the restaurant. Oh, okay. like to restaurant to Thai restaurant because when I already decide that I will live in Portugal with my boyfriend mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking about to have my own restaurant so what I'm doing is like I make food like really spicy because I eat spicy food mm -hmm. and like the the flavor is really strong on mm -hmm. everything uh, most of the European people all my friends they cannot they cannot eat it. Cannot handle it. Yeah, they cannot handle it. So what I have to do, I'm thinking about to get some experience. Mm -hmm. So I decide to, to go to US. I I would say I improve this a lot. Uh, now I have my small business running mm -hmm. in the skies, okay. which is a, a Thai food delivery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So right now you're doing more like uh, home deliveries and yeah. uh, do you do also do parties and, yeah, and fun, fun the, functions? Yeah, I do like a cooking service at oh. your house, like mm -hmm. imagine if you want me to go there and I do the party as well. So how long have you been doing this this uh, this business? Uh, I would say 10, 10 months already, 10 months already here in Portugal. Oh, okay, yeah. here in Portugal. And how's the reception so far with that? Uh, it's it's good. It's more than what I expect. Okay, that's yeah, good. Yeah. Really good. And your clients are mainly like around Kashkash or in Lisbon yeah. or Sintra or? Most of them like around the skies, but now I trying to serve farther. If it has someone called me and I, I can serve them. I'm sure, you know, it must be quite nerve wracking, nervous for you when you first start to doing all of this, but you were determined to try it out. What was it like when you did that first Job, yeah. My first job is going to cook at the their house mm -hmm. for eleven people. Wow! And 11 I'm people. working alone. Wow! Yeah. That's a huge. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, oh my god! And it's the Christmas party actually. I'm super nervous because yeah. uh, it has someone there never tried Thai food before. Oh, okay. Yeah, someone like don't know anything about Thailand, blah blah, blah but. Uh, when I serve the food and when I when I finish all the work, I go home. I'm nervous because if somebody never tried Thai food or something, is we have the fish sauce, shellfish, something yes. like that, something spicy because they order some spicy thing. And it was like, oh, their stomach gonna be good or something. <laughs> no, they gonna like it or not mm. or something. But oh. when uh, the next day, I got all the um, the feedback. Okay. I make the feedback paper. Yeah, feedback. yeah, yeah. So, so they they love it, and everyone fine. Nobody get to the hospital. Well, that's ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a plus sign. Like yeah. So there must be a relief for you. Then you yeah. were more confident by then. Yeah. yeah. How has you know living in Portugal has changed your lifestyle or changed your life in in some ways? Uh, it changed a lot. If you wanted to get some some food mm -hmm. at night, yeah. you cannot you go cannot. anywhere. Like after eleven, no nowhere. You just have to 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 sleep. Yes. Yeah, you have to sleep. <laughs> like you have really to go sleep. Uh, but what I like here is they have the beach, beautiful beach. Which is mm -hmm. I always go to the beach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and the culture mm-hmm. something is wow. the culture is different but Portuguese people is really similar to Thai people. Oh you think I so? Oh yeah. okay that's something different I've never realized about really? that. Yeah. I think uh, Portuguese people is uh, smiling mm-hmm. and, and kind. I went to the supermarket, the people wanted to, to help. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're nice. Okay. They are nice. Ah. So when you were living in Thailand, do you always kind of have this perception that maybe one day you might want to live somewhere else different? Or? I always wanted to. Oh, you know, okay. Ah, I see. I see. My family, we have the business, we have the shop in the market, mm-hmm. which is like everyone work there. Yes. They don't mind if you wanted to study until mm-hmm. master or doctor or mm-hmm. whatever or no. They, you always going to have job. But I wanted to do something different. Oh, okay. yeah. But actually, uh, my cousin already made herself like she went to Australia as oh, well. So that was so, the inspiration yeah, then. Yeah, and she she made the now she had like a, a, the latex the selling the mattress. Oh, okay. Uh, sending to ex- export to China mm-hmm. to Laos something and her life looks so fun because she makes something different and yes. I wanted to do the same and I was like okay I'm gonna do this so I tried to to do something else like the, the tour guide mm-hmm. because I finished the, the university as a guide yeah. I worked there for like three months I was like okay this is not not my what do I like the most I love cooking and I like my food and I'm just go for this oh, okay so that's yeah, I'm just sense. go for this I want to, to make this success. Okay. I wanted to see if I can do this or no. So mm-hmm. what just one way that I need to go to get an, the real experience. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I mean of course it's, it's always good to go overseas and get different yeah. experience and different therefore so the, the way they present time yes. is quite differently over there. Yes. Yeah. And I'm not never thinking about to have my restaurant in Thailand, so yeah. I need to know I need to learn how to cook for the foreigner. Yeah. Okay, very smart move yeah. actually. Yeah. Okay. I, need, cool. I really need to know. Yeah. So. And what was it like, you know, when you first started in the first few days in, in Orlando? Yeah, I, I shoot the restaurant like super famous and they were like so busy, like mm. crazy busy. And uh, they were saying to me like, ah, oh, uh, are you sure you want to work in the kitchen? You don't want to work to to be the, the server. Yeah. I say, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be in the kitchen. And they were like, but you're too young, you should not get to the kitchen. And I was like, I come here for this. And they say, okay. And I, they, they saw my profile before I arrived. Yeah. And they say, I wanted to see that you say you love cook. I hope that you are not going to cry and go back to Thailand. And pack your bag and go back to Thailand. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, no, that's not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I proved it, and they saw it, and they were like, "Oh, this, this is." There's something about this girl, yeah. then. <laughs> yeah, and she was. When I wanted to to quit, they they just know me. Oh, yeah. okay. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. How you know determined you you were trying to to make yeah, it. Yeah, because I tried yourself. a lot. I'm not like very really good at at this, but I'm trying. I I, I don't give up. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I'm very, I'm very proud of you actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you come this far and then getting the experience yeah. and then coming to Portugal and now wanting to set up a, a restaurant in the future. And yeah, you, you just have this drive. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just wondering like, you know, for myself, it's quite, it's not an easy thing to find authentic Southeast Asian food over here in Lisbon or even Kashkash. Um, you know, how do you want to see? How do you see yourself standing out? You know, to, to give that authentic experience to to the, to the people. yeah to to your customers and your clients. Uh, so many times I was thinking about to adapt the food. Mm-hmm. You know, because it has it still have a lot of uh, Portuguese people who don't know anything about Thailand. That's what I said. Like yeah. they never travel there or they would get on the list or something. If you want to make uh, authentic Thai food, mm-hmm. uh, you cannot adapt like yes. so much, a yeah. lot. You cannot adapt a lot. Otherwise, it's gonna be something else. 
they, they want some uh, gluten-free dish but some dish I really cannot make it mm. I prefer to to telling them to eat something else that to don't have the shellfish or something yes but I'm not going to serve uh, pad thai without the fish sauce mm -hmm. it's, it's not authentic yeah, yeah. It's, it's not and I was saying like, like oh, if you don't want the fish sauce uh, you can ask for something else that don't have the fish sauce but pad thai for sure is going to have fish sauce I'm sorry, I'm very sorry, I cannot make it I don't want it to yeah, over compromise. Yeah, yeah. true. It's, it's, it's yeah. not going to be good, and that is not going to be good for your business. If it's yes. not good, and yeah. they eat, and they say, Oh, this is not Pad Thai. And yeah. I'm, I cannot share a lot of things about my my authentic Thai food because I'm so Thai, like I'm Thai, Thai, Thai. <laughs> like my my personality, the uh, everything, I'm so Thai. So. Yeah. I cannot share that. Oh, but, which, but I think which is a great thing because you want to share this authentic culture yeah. and you want to make sure that you stay within this realm that you make you know proper Thai food. Yes. And you know, and I think that's what I noticed in Australia, especially in where where I used to live in Sydney, where people uh, a lot of Thai food are not compromising, they, they are making it spicy the way it is you know, and how you taste it in Thailand. It. Yeah, and, and they were super successful. I know. I think this is something I was amazed in Australia that people actually enjoy the spice food the yeah. authentic way. So yeah. So my last question will be like, we're coming close to the end of uh, 2021, and you know, like like now you can see you you have grown so much since you came over here to this point. What you what are your hopes and dreams in the next year or maybe in in the following years? I'm still, mm. I'm still gonna make the, my small restaurant happen mm -hmm. for sure as soon as I can. And uh, actually, me and my boyfriend we buy the house now, and uh, I think we probably can do something more because I'm going to have the kitchen. Probably I'm going to do more thing uh, in my house, or uh, if I have the the restaurant, I'm probably gonna gonna do. Yeah. Give everything to my restaurant for like five years. Okay, well, so you're gonna have you start off having your own rest, little restaurant in your own yeah, home. Sure. Wow. So, well, can can I dine in when I come yeah, over? Yeah, sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, my, that's so great. I'm I'm really happy for you, and I'm really looking forward to to coming to your new place when yeah. it's yeah, when you're ready. Nice. Yeah, and, and you know, I hope that we will be in touch for sure, and we yeah. we, we we can collaborate in the future. Yeah. So yeah, so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And guys, thank you very much for watching this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and the bell. And also don't forget to go to Ploy's Facebook page and help you know and information and social media information. I'll put it in the, in the description. And I'll see you guys again soon. So take care and ciao ciao. Bye bye. <laughs>